someone's asking about the order of approach for LSAT problems in logic games. Of course, with a paper format, you might be you might want to jump around a bit, do orientation questions, then local, then global. For digital, might you want to change that order? Yeah, you might. You could simply click with arrows left and right to jump around as you want. That is a little bit of work, but it might be worth it for you if you still want to do things in a certain particular order of local, then global. Or let's say in reading comprehension, you might want to do main point and primary purpose questions first, then detail-oriented questions, then inferential questions later. So there's a slight advantage to going in order now the previous, the, the, relative to how it used to be, but you have to weigh and measure it. I'd say play around and see what works best for you. Is it okay for you to simply go in order or do you find it helpful to jump around? I think that honestly, my opinion is that it will still be worth jumping around, especially since it's fairly easy to jump around on the digital LSAT. They have, a, and I'll, I'll go back and show you this in a moment, there is a little kind of navigation bar below the questions. No, I'll pull it up here in a moment. You see on the bottom, they have numbers one, two, three, four, five, and you, so you can click to question five immediately, click back to question three, and we're jumping around. As you can see, I'm jumping from question to question. And if you flag a question, it'll appear flagged on the bottom, which is pretty cool. Meaning that, let's say you go on to question five, you'll be able to see, oh yeah, I flagged question four. I do want to go back to that question. You can even jump there immediately without having to use the left and right arrows. So that's, that's pretty cool. And of course, this extends for an entire 25 question section, all this flagging and jumping around. So that, that's pretty nice. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.